Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're going to find out what we want you to hear. Please remember this minute resonates for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what we want you to know. So while I'm preparing for this reading, I scratched my forehead and now it looks like a scar. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you could be dealing with somebody that has like a scar on their forehead or something like that, or that could resonate with somebody. Um, somebody could have had some type of head injury or something like that, okay? Okay, so... There's a lot happening here. Okay, so there's a lot happening here for whoever I'm picking up on today. Um, I do see a lot coming to the surface, okay? So especially there is something that has been hidden from you, okay? And it is now coming to light. It's coming to the surface. Um, I am getting that something was hidden, okay? For some of you, this could have been somebody's character as well. Like, I'm getting that somebody could have been acting a certain way. And now their true colours are coming out, okay? You are literally seeing this person's true colours, um... I'm also getting that whoever I'm picking up on, you may be dealing with quite a lot at the moment, okay? Um, now, I am seeing that something is about to change, right? Something, it's like your life is about to change and with the magician here, you may have been manifesting, I just need two, two, two. You may have been manifesting some type of major life change, some type of transformation, okay? And I am getting that this change is something that's going to completely change your life. Right now, there are some things that you are shedding, right? Some things that in this new reality they can no longer exist the way that they have been existing because, again, you are manifesting a complete change, right? So right now, there's this period of shedding. There's this period of kind of what no longer serves you is now ending. What can... What... So, in this transformation, it's going to be different for everyone. For some of you, you've been manifesting a loving connection. I just think 333. For others, you've been manifesting some type of career change, right? Whatever this is, though, it not everything in that you're dealing with now can kind of exist at the same time, right? So I am getting that right now you may be going through a very hard time. Um, you may be dealing with a lot of, there's a lot on your plate at the moment, okay? A lot hitting you at once. It almost is like you're purging your old life, okay? It's almost like you may even be getting rid of old clothing, okay, you may be getting rid of things that maybe f feel like they no longer serve you, um, you may be kind of cleaning out your house, right, but also there seems to be this deceptive energy that's coming to light, somebody kind of got caught lying. I am getting for some of you as well. 
then a choice that you have had to make to manifest this new life change, okay? And even if you're not consciously manifesting this, it feels like something that you have been wanting for a long time, right? And there's this energy of, at the moment, you may be feeling alone and going through some type of inner conflict. But I do see that you have been wanting to make this change for a long time. There's a choice that you have to make, right? This is not going to resonate for everyone, but then a choice that you need to make in this. I am getting that for some of you, there's this decision that you've had and you haven't really been making the, de the decision, but now there's something that you have found out that it feels like almost a sign that you need to kind of get out of this situation. For some of you, this could be, um, so if you're manifesting a career change, this could be, you know, leaving behind a job, right? So you can kind of get the new job, okay, or change your career path or open the business, right? For others, this could be a relationship, okay? Um, maybe you're trying to manifest some type of loving connection, but you're entertaining somebody else, right? So for some of you as well, I am getting a very specific message that you may have a choice between two different people okay and i am getting that somebody new is coming into your life you may have already met them or you're about to meet them okay and this new person you have some type of strong connection with this new person okay even if you haven't known them for a long time okay it feels like you have known this person forever. For some of you, this could be some type of somebody from your past coming back, okay? But I do see that somebody new and coming into your life here. And with the Two of Cups, this is a very strong connection. This is somebody that it feels like a connection where it's very healing and it feels like a connection where you both really get along, okay, especially even if you, as I just mentioned, even if you haven't known this person for a long time, it's going to feel like you've known this person forever, and if this is somebody from your past that you haven't spoken to for a long time, when you guys come back together, it's going to be like, you know, there was never any separation between you two. So I do see that for some of you, you were putting off following your heart, okay? For a long time, you had some type of decision that you needed to make, but you were putting it off, okay? You were kind of settling for less, whether this is to do with a relationship or a career. For most of you, I am getting that this is a relationship. But I do see that there was a decision that you needed to make and you were putting it off and now you seem to really be in your feelings and you seem to also, I just need 1001, you seem to be following your emotions, you seem to be following your feelings, your intuition.
then Capricorn energy here, then Cancer energy here, Aries energy, Leo energy as well. It feels like you really outgrew the situation. And you've really, for some of you, this is a person, right? Somebody that you have kind of outgrew and somebody that was kind of holding you back because you had outgrew them, right? It feels like you were giving a lot of your time, energy, power away to this person. And it feels like in this situation, you couldn't grow. I just seen 11, 11. So for some of you, you may have even been kind of comfortable settling for less, okay? And there may have been a time where you really resonated with this person or this situation, but you have outgrew it and you, you have grown a lot where the other person, they they don't really match your energy, okay? They're not, they haven't grown at all, right? So for a long time, I am getting that you were kind of giving your power up to this person and you, there was an energy of you feeling stuck. So for some of you, um, it feels like you're going through a breakup, okay? But it also feels like people feel like you don't care, like they feel like you don't care kind of thing, right? Because again, now you seem to be following your heart and this is a situation where you may have just walked away from it, but it feels like you mentally checked out a long time ago from this situation and from this person. I'm getting that whoever this person is, it feels like they kind of had two sides to them, okay? Now, one side, it feels like they would show the public and it feels like this person, I just seen 13, 33, this person would come off as somebody that is like very charming, very confident, very, very almost too nice okay um now this person they are somebody that carries themselves in a really good way okay they definitely have manners they definitely know how to carry themselves um but i'm getting that there were like two sides to this person and you kind of knew the bad side to this person and I am getting that this person for one with the king of swords reversed that's my narcissist card they could have been a narcissist but if not they were just somebody that tend to kind of lie a lot okay make up stories um somebody that is extremely self-centered and will literally throw anyone under the bus um so they can get on top right? I am getting that it feels like the public, okay, the people that know this person but don't really know this person, they have a really good, they have a really kind of good opinion of this person but they don't really know the real them, right? They don't know how toxic this person really is. 
I do see that there's a lot of confusion. Because this person, the way that they present themselves, well, they, they really have to present themselves in a good way because they don't truly seem to be the person that they're presenting. Okay, that's just a mask. So you may have... So this is definitely like a breakup situation. And you may be labelled as the bad person. Okay, this person may be trying to paint a story where... I mean, you're at fault, okay? But the thing is... Nobody knows how this person really is. You know the true them. Okay? And you know how toxic this person can be. And I'm even getting that in this relationship, you can also be toxic, okay? It feels like a situation where these two, like you two are together, it creates a very... Almost hostile atmosphere, okay? It just feels like... Now, even this person, they may not be a toxic person, but when they're around you, when you guys are together, you guys seem to create a toxic dynamic for whatever reason. There seems to be conflict. Now, whoever I'm picking up on today, I am getting that it feels like as soon as this ended, okay, as soon as you decided to actually end the connection, I am getting that what you've been manifesting comes in straight away. Okay, this loving connection, it could be a soul connection, you may know the person, you may not, right? But this person that you meet, it feels like you guys like are almost supposed to be together and there's a strong soul connection there. But the thing is, because you have just got out of this situation, people feel like you're moving on really quick, okay? You also have this other person that you've walked away from painting themselves as the victim even though they're not really taking accountability for their toxic traits, okay, and they're trying to kind of, because as I mentioned before, they're really good at painting this picture that they are really kind, well-mannered, okay, um, and again, they could be, but they also in this connection were very toxic, okay, there was a lot of things that they lied about, a lot of deception, even now I'm getting that there are some things coming to light, I mean there's a lot coming to light, okay, and I'm not surprised because Venus is in retrograde, okay, which is probably why this chaotic situation is going on for whoever I'm picking up on 1919, I just think. Um, so basically, this person is going around trying to paint themselves as the victim, right? Trying to also paint you as the bad person. And again, this whole situation where you seem to have found somebody or this manifestation is coming in, this true love situation this person is going to try to act like you're the problem, right? I do see them really highlighting your bad traits, okay? As I mentioned before, you both were toxic together. Um, whoever I'm picking up on today with the Eight of Cups clarified by the Ten of Cups, like you've been manifesting literally happily ever after. And with the Eight of Cups, I am getting that 
it feels like you have wanted this new beginning for a long time. You've been manifesting this new beginning, this true love. There could be somebody that you actually feel a soul connection to and you are manifesting them, right? And you walking away from this situation here that has been holding you back, that has been keeping you stuck, that you've outgrown, instantly brings in this soul connection, right? Instantly brings in this love. I do see that whoever I'm picking up on today, this is definitely a situation where you're walking away from a toxic situation, a toxic person, a toxic connection. For some of you, you may have had a trauma bond with this person. And I am getting that. I mean, there was a feeling where you have wanted to get away from this situation for a long time. To the point where you've even been manifesting happily ever after, okay? A soul connection. Whoever I'm picking up on today, you are walking away from a karmic cycle. You were on the wrong path and you knew it on an intuitive level. You also felt an energy of disconnect, okay? You felt like you were not in the right place, right? So it's like you just did not feel right. You were never... You could have even been in a good situation, comfortable, whatever. But because this was a karmic situation and it's not for you, there's something better for you, you were never going to feel right, okay? Your intuition has been telling you to walk away from this situation for so long, but you were giving your power up to this karmic situation. For some of you, you, did, you felt very stuck. And I am getting that you may have had a conversation with somebody that has really encouraged you to kind of walk away from this unhappy situation. So I do see that this new connection that's coming in, things are happening really quick, okay? You're both falling in love very quick as well. For some of you, this is like love at first sight, okay? Or there is a very strong soul connection between you two and you feel kind of like a magnetic pull to each other, right? I do see that it feels like you're happy like it feels like you are so happy right because this connection has come into your life things are moving really quick over here there's a lot of drama though and you may still be in the middle of the drama and if you are just know that this is for the best if you're having any doubt okay this is for the best because if you guys could see what i'm seeing here this side over here, this karmic side that you have been in, this karmic cycle, full of bad luck, full of toxic energy, full of lies and deception. This, I mean, this looks complicated, okay? This looks heavy on the heart, heavy on the soul. Over here, we've got the Two of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups, the Chariot. We have the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Eight of Cups right? I mean, so much love, so much happiness, right? Contentment. I do see that if you're feeling stuck at the moment and you're still in this stage of kind of breaking away from this karmic cycle and moving into this soul connection, okay, this reality where there's this loving soul connection and you're happy and you're content and there's happily ever after here. Just know that this is, this is worth it. For some of you, I do see that you are doubting yourself, right? You feel like, you know, have I made the wrong choice? Am I doing the right thing? You're doing the right thing. 
okay? Then for some of you, you may have already repeated this karmic cycle a lot, okay? You already know how it's going to end and it's never good, right? Again, it's full of lies, bad luck, toxic energy. You're also longing for something new, okay, because you need to grow and you've been longing to do this for a long time. Your intuition has been pointing you in a new direction for a long time. Like there needs to be new energy in your life and for some of you, you feel like you're being impulsive, okay. I am getting that you may be feeling a little bit guilty, but at this time... It is important for you to follow your intuition, follow your heart. Again, follow your happiness because you know what makes you happy and it's not this karmic cycle, right? That's all I have for you guys. If it resonates, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next reading.